In this video, we're going to show you how to take your 6 volt power wheels from slow to go. Before tackling this project, there's a few things you're going to need. The first is a 12 volt battery. Uh, in my case, I bought a 12 volt 12 AH battery. Uh, this one, and this is what's important that you have to look for, is that it's a non-spillable sealed lead acid battery. If you use a normal 12 volt battery, like one out of a car, uh, there's a possibility that the acid could spill and hurt your kids. Next thing I bought is an inline fuse. Uh, inline fuse holder with a 30 amp fuse. You can purchase these at any auto parts store. And then I also, while I was at the auto parts store, uh, I got a little box of assorted quick disconnects. Uh, this is what's going to connect to your battery. And so you just want to get one that will match up to whatever battery you purchase. The last thing you might need is just a little bit of wire. Uh, you might be able to get by without it, but I'm going to use some just to make sure that both wires are the same length. Okay, the first thing we want to do is just cut some extra wire to the same length as the inline fuse. So I'm going to have it right to there. Tipped in. We're going to let my son cut it for us. Can you cut it? There you go. Cut, cut, cut. So now we have a, a piece of wire that's about the same length as the inline fuse and that'll keep both my wires the same length. Now we're going to grab the this? old battery. What about this? And Noble, this is my son Noble. What he's going to do is he's going to cut both of these wires right in the middle. You only want to squeeze, you only want to cut one wire at a time. So let's just cut one wire at a time. Alright, there's one. Here, let me have it, let me have it, let me have it, let me have it. Have it, me have it. That's, that, it just do what we did too. Yeah, no. There's one. one. And now you can cut the other wire. There, no. In the exact same spot. There, right there. Squeeze real hard. Woo! So it may not be the best idea to have your kids they, they, cut those. They, they uh, can I cut learn. one of these. Never, never told you. No now it's cut. No, okay. okay. No now we're going to strip some wire off of these so that we have plenty. <clears throat> Are you okay, Daddy? Yeah, I'm okay. Can now we'll strip some wire off this one. Can I try? Can uh, this is hard. This is something for Daddy to do because it's kind of hard to strip wire. There are a lot of different ways that you can make your wire connections. One thing you can do is just wire nut things together. Another thing you could do, if you don't even have that, is twist things together and uh, use some black electrical tape around it. You could use these type of wire connectors. Uh, these are crimp connectors. Or you could do what I'm about to do. And I'm going to uh, use some shrink tubing and uh, solder my connections together. The wire with the fuse is going to go to the white wire which is the positive side. The wire without the fuse is going to go to the black wire which is the negative side. There's my solder joint. I uh, can't get it in focus. I uh, don't know if you can see it good or not, but then what I end up doing is just covering this up with the shrink wrap like that, and I'll heat shrink it, and that'll be a really good, strong connection. Now I just shrink this with a heat gun. You could also use a hair dryer.
on the other end, it's gonna go these little connections. First thing I need to do is just make sure I've got the ones that fit. And yeah, that looks like it's gonna go right on there. Double check to make sure that they're both the same size. Yep. <clears throat> these are crimp style, so I'm gonna crimp them on the I just take this special crimping pliers, put it in there where it needs to be, and crimp it down. And the hope is that now this can't come out, and it can't. So that's one crimp done. Now I'll do the other one. Don't forget to put a 30 amp fuse inside your fuse holder. Okay, the next thing that's important is actually being able to fit the battery into your race car. Yeah. And, and our I Corvette, we're going to need to remove this piece right here. So Noble, can you do that for me? Yes, sir. Which way do I go? Okay, so you need to take that one out and that one out. Which way? Yeah, you're gonna go just like that way, no other way. There you go. One out, good job, son. The other one. Other way. Future auto mechanic. Good job. All right, now with that out of the way, we're hoping that this big battery will fit in there somehow. So let's see what we got. It's a little too wide to go that way. Maybe we can fit it like that. So we just figured out that we're not going to actually have to make any cuts to the car body. You can see the hood's on there perfectly right now. And then I'll take it off and the battery's gonna just sit in there like that. Luckily it's a sealed battery, so I don't really have to worry about it leaking out, even though it's not perfectly flat. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start making the connections. Does it go this way? Yep, just like that. Mm. Push it real hard, it's gonna be, there you go. Oh yeah, you're strong. Good job. You got it. Good job. Good job. I hit the hole when I did that. Oh really? Because it's so tough, huh? Yeah. You know how I can do it? Like a big, strong, mighty man. Yeah, a big, strong, mighty man. Now what? Uh, how will we? No, I just need to put these on. Mm. Can I do those? Uh, you can try to help me right here. So this one's gonna go right there. Hold on, let me get it straight and started. Okay, now you wanna push it on? Yeah. All right, good job, you got it. All right, Tipton, don't hit the gas pedal. Can I do the next one? Yeah, look, can I get it started and then you put it on? Yeah. Okay. Then I said bubble. Mm. I can't do it. Yeah, it's hard. This, that go. one is easier. Now, we... Okay, hit the gas pedal one time. We're just going to do a quick see, thing to see if it works. Okay. All right. Wow. It's fine. It sounded powerful, didn't it? Oh, right, you're going backwards. Go the other way. There we go. Healing out. <laughs> it's peeling out, ain't it? Uh -huh. Oh, a lot faster. <laughs> So much faster. Oh, that's that made it a lot better. That thing is doing burnouts. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's cool.
It's fast now. Like a proper race car. the 12 volt truck is pulling ahead by a long shot Whoa. but the vet's doing pretty good it's keeping traction in the grass I'm happy with it and it's gonna be a crash oh somebody's a sore loser somebody's a sore loser get ready get set The Corvette did a burnout off the line, didn't have good traction, but he's trying to make it around. It's a hot race. He's making a good catch up on him. Oh, the Corvette's pulling out in the lead. Woo! And it was a tie. We both win. You both win. problems with the uh, wire coming loose every once in a while, but that shouldn't be too bad. It's a fix. You got it? A lot of people get worried that I didn't change out the electric motors. So if you're watching this and you're wondering how long did it last just turning that motor from 12 volts or from 6 volts to 12 volts, this is your answer. So as you can see that same little boy has grown up and is now in kindergarten. We published that video in I want to say March of 2018 but we actually filmed it right after Christmas uh, in 2017. So. And today is August of 2019. Oh, that. I know I just said it was August, but it takes me so long to edit these videos that it is now January 28th of 2020. And I just wanted to go ahead and say, this car is still working. Let's see. I don't have any kids around to drive it, but she's working. It's still zipping around and I don't know if you can tell by the condition of the car, but they drive it all the time. The one thing on this car that does seem to be wearing out is the back tires. And they are basically slicks at this point. Go ahead. I think the car is probably a little bit slower than what it used to be. Uh, and I think that's just simply the battery's getting older. We definitely uh, have noticed that it doesn't hold a charge quite as long. But uh, for that thing uh, running as often as it does for the last year and a half, I am very pleased with the outcome. So one, one thing just to update you, when I did this, uh, the first video, I, I can't remember what size fuse I think I, th I said to use. I think I said a 30 amp fuse. And we are now- Let me watch the video again. Okay, oh, later, yeah. Then I would know, wouldn't I? Uh, so we are now using a 40 amp fuse uh, because we kept blowing that, that old fuse. And basically, this has been running so long that I really wasn't that concerned about if I did happen to ruin the motor. and. So with a 40 amp fuse, uh, we are not blowing them and we haven't ruined the motor still. So I'm feeling like that's probably the winner. So uh, let me show you how I hook up that uh, battery to a charger and what we use to, to keep it charged. 
You will not be able to use the 6 volt charger that came with your car. Instead you'll need to use a 12 volt charger and I recommend using a car or motorcycle charger. Uh, once you have one of those, like here's mine right here, you can see it's uh, on 12 volts. All you have to do is connect the red connector to the red and the black to the black. And you can leave the battery in the car. I just happened to have mine out and it made it easier to film. I hope this and my other videos help you have more fun with your kids. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button 